Oh, hi there. I didn't realize that you were uh, looking over my shoulder. Uh, for those of you who don't know, my name is Alex Richter, and I am also known as the Teacup Writer. Um, this will be the first video that I post on the World Wide Web. Um, as you can see, this is a typical day for me. Uh, reading, journaling, reading, more reading, journaling, and then eventually editing this editing this monstrosity. So as you can see, you're probably wondering what kind of person has time to review a pen. But here I am, and I'm going to be reviewing the Galen Leather Sold Fountain Pen from Norwell. Hope you enjoy it. All right, so when you buy the pen, um, it comes with uh, comes with like a little pen pouch, a little red pen pouch. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this is the one from, or this is the Crazy Horse variant. Uh, really nice. It's real leather. Looks like it's hand stitched, as I would spec, uh, as I would suspect um, to be given. Uh, you get a little user's guide and warranty. Um, as you can see, Norwal. I already have ink there. Typical. Um, you open it up. So basically, it looks like the dial at the end. You uh, unscrew it, dip it in the ink, and then re-screw it to fill it back up. Um, pretty cool. This pen doesn't take uh, cartridges, so it, it is just... Um, it is just uh, done with uh, regular ink, which uh, uh, isn't 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 a bad thing for me. I have quite a few pens that I already do take cartridges. Um, the box comes with uh, yeah, just a typical packaging. You see Galen Leather's brand there, fountain pen, journaling, and writing supplies. Looks like this says writing is the painting of the voice. That's cool. Uh, good for writing. Yeah, just pretty basic um, cardboard box. Um, and then obviously the pen comes in a like-minded box as well. Um, when you open it up, it comes with a little wrench. Um, this wrench uh, is used to take out the piston in the back. Um, so just behind this little gold uh, fastener is a little, a little hex head or little head that you can fit this wrench on and take it out and give it a good clean. Uh, the pen itself, uh, beautiful color. Uh, it's kind of like a blue swirl uh, with a bit of brown is I guess the only way I can describe it. I mean, the way the light hits the pen, you see different details every time. Um, I believe it's resin, I could be wrong. Um, it's got the traditional Norwal uh, pen clip. It's got a gold tip at the end. Um, and then there's a little ink window, which is kind of cool. Kind of see what ink you're sloshing around. If you look, if you look right now, it has a little bit of water in there from from cleaning. Uh, this pen unscrews, so you'll just screw it. I think it goes around twice before you can pull it off. Um, and then there's the nib. Let me get a close up of that. I guess it's about as good as you get. You can, uh, if you see really closely, it has the little Norwal logo. It's gold. Um, not sure if it's just plated or 14 karat, but it's really nice. Um, compared to the other nibs I have, it's a little bit more oversized, so I do enjoy that. Um, the bigger nib size. This is a medium nib. Um, so, And then, uh, like I was saying, for the filling of ink, you just unscrew the back all the way like so, and then it will stop. Right there is the little uh, little thing you use with the wrench to take it apart. And then when you dip it in the ink, you just close it back up and you have a full pen. Um, this pen doesn't seem to wanna be posted. It doesn't really fit. I wouldn't 
do it. Um, when it's in your hand, it does have quite a good a seat. Um, and with the cap on there, it just doesn't feel right. I'm left-handed, so um, this works just fine for me. And um, with there being threads inside, I would be scared to to dull the thread or strip the threads eventually. Sorry for the hair. My golden retriever is always uh, shedding. Um, but yeah, let me uh, put some ink in it and then let's do a writing sample. All right, so as you can see, um, no hard starts, no skips. Uh, sorry for the poor penmanship, but um, it, it works really well. This is the, uh, looks like the Waterman Harmonious Green Ink. I actually really like this. It's not too dark. It's a little bit uh, more of a medium green, um, all around good ink. Uh, uh, but the pen is pretty smooth. The lines are uh, what you would expect from a medium pen. Um, uh, the cold day is in winter. Yeah, just kind of what you would expect from a fountain pen. I actually really do enjoy... Um, just how easy it is. I, I don't feel like I'm applying any pressure. Um, and with some of my pens, when I when I first ink them up, I do feel like uh, I have to kind of get them going. Whereas this one's a uh, pretty easy, um, as you can see, just fine. I'm not having any problems. Looks like uh, pretty good. Yeah. So. I'm pretty, I'm pretty pleased with, with the pen. Thanks for uh, watching my review. I hope you, hope you enjoyed it. If you are interested, you can like or subscribe. Um, I don't know where I'm going to go with this, but I'm hoping that I can just, you know, look at stationary, review writing topics, and um, over the time, you know, release information about books. And speaking of books wouldn't be a writing video without a reference to my very own book. Um, this is a fantasy novel that I wrote uh, about, a ma about a year ago, and it's been out since uh, the early part of this year. Um, it's on Amazon for purchase, so if you're looking to support me, then you can certainly do that. There'll be a link in my bio to where you can purchase it. And then also, if you're interested, I'll put a link to my personal Instagram page where I keep um, people up to date with what I'm doing. Uh, right now, I am editing a Victorian crime novel that should be out hopefully towards the end of this year. We'll see. Um, yeah, but thank you so much. And uh, I look forward to seeing all of you guys soon. Have a good day.